Hi there, I'm Java Jim, and today we have here at First Line Mauro Macchiato from Lilite or Gemme from Brescia, Italy, where they make now the world famous Lilite Bianca espresso machine. When I say world famous, this espresso machine is world famous now, and especially very famous in the United States because this machine is killing it. I knew from the first day when we got the first prototype with the darker knobs, if you remember, uh, I knew this machine was gonna kill it across the board. I mean, this machine is phenomenal. Now I got news for you. The machines arrived on Monday. This is uh, January 13th, 14th. They arrived on the 13th. At the same time, they arrived at 10.30. Guess who shows up here? Mauro Macchiato. He shows up here to tell us some news about the Bianca. And boy, this just took it to the next level. Let me tell you, um, and why don't you say hi to our audience here, Mauro. You can, not, don't, don't be so stiff. Say don't be so stiff, okay. So, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. You don't have to say everybody, but say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> The news that we just received, because the shipment was made, but they sent it to us, and they just told us via delivery in person that there are some new upgraded features on the Bianca to skyrocket to the next level, okay? And they actually planned some of this, so they were a little sneaky about this with us and probably the rest of the world. Uh, one is uh, the economy mode where you have the coffee uh, boiler on that's only on and the steam boiler's off. Easy way to get there. Uh, that's an upgrade. Uh, the standby mode where the coffee boiler is at 80 degrees, steam boiler is off. Again, a quick way to get there. There's also now a reserve mode. What does reserve mode mean? It means if you're low water in the reservoir and you go pull an espresso shot, you know when you're like going like a, an ounce and all of a sudden the machine shuts down, says low water, can't finish a shot. Well, guess what? You can still run 60 seconds after it goes low water in the reservoir. Okay, so that's a really good feature now that's built into the Bianca to skyrocket. Next is steam temperature. And I had, was questioning about this um, because the steam temperature is actually pretty good. I actually run the machine at 255 Fahrenheit on a steam boiler to get good microfroth. And they basically went from, what was the original, 125? 125. And now and where maximum, are we going? To? Uh, 235. No, 135. One, 135. 135, yes. And Celsius. Celsius. Yes. And this basically takes it to two bar. So my inkling and intuition is when they increase the temperature on these you have to make sure that the boiler walls can can take that extra pressure that's built in there and they actually thought about this ahead of time because to make this upgrade and to upgrade the older units that are out there uh they already thought about the strength of the boiler wall, because what happens is when you get that high pressure, the boiler wall start bowing out, and then the seams on the welds start breaking and leaking. I've seen this before, okay? And just to replace two parts, uh, like a, a controller and the safety valve, doesn't always do it. You have to increase the strength of the boiler wall. These guys already thought about this when they were designing the machine. They actually, just to give you proof, for those who want to upgrade, uh, you don't need to change a safety valve because they've already did that on the previous units. Blew my mind because I was like, oh boy, we have to change safety No, we don't have to change the safety valves. No. And you guys just may impress me with that. So that's another feature on the machine. Um, dispensing time. They, got, they took the feedback uh, from the forums, from customers, from dealers. Now on the LCC, when you finish the shot, the time doesn't disappear. It stays for how many seconds? 20 seconds 20 now? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. So if you have a scale here and you want to check, you will see that the, this, uh, the shot time on the shot clock is going to stay there for 20 seconds. Okay. Um, what's the next feature that we have? Do you remember? 
mm, we we'll read standby mode reserve mode the fast track to uh, able and disable the function right okay and, and uh, how do we read the temperature that's the last one and uh, how do we read the temperature of ah, the boilers? Okay. Uh, with the bottom plus uh, we can see the real temperature with, uh, for the coffee and for the steam. Example, now I have 136 degrees for the steam. Right, so now you can see the temperature of the coffee boiler and the steam boiler by yes. a quick push of the button once or twice. So you can get a, a sense of where it is, especially while it's warming up or near warm up that you want to make sure that the temperature is very close to the program 10 temperature. Yes. So these are the exciting new features on the machines that just came in. They're going to be known as version two on uh, the Bianca. So if you see version two, for those who have version one, we will have a special offer for you to upgrade to version two. Um, and just look on our website for that uh, in the near future, because there will be uh, two options available to upgrade uh, for the short term. But in 2020, this machine is now skyrocketed to the next level and everyone's chasing it because this thing is killing it. We thank you for watching this quick overview video. Look for our next one where we're gonna go a little more in, de in depth and also on how to change the LCC for those people who wanna upgrade. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you, Mauro, for thank visiting you. us and delivering this nice information give us a thumbs up uh, down below subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or comments please ask below or go right to our bianca page you can ask them there thank you have a great day take care